Hello everyone and welcome to the Mustache Cube. How are you all doing today? I'm here today with Obi-Wan Kenobi Battlefront 2 Every Known Detail. Hello there. Before anything else, I would like to ask you guys to drop a like and to subscribe if you are new here so that the moustache may be with you. Now let's get into the video. Mustache. As you all know, yesterday we finally got the long-awaited Obi-Wan's community transmission. I am here to talk about every known detail regarding the Jedi General. About his base HP we have no information yet, but he will certainly have between 700 and 800 base HP. I am more inclined to think about the 800 value though, since that was Grievous's base value. First, let's talk about his playstyle. DICE stated on the transmission that Obi-Wan has increased stamina so that he can block both lightsabers and blaster shots more effectively. I bet his lightsaber attacks will deal at least 100 damage per hit, but it might be a little more powerful than that. We have to wait and see. Now let's talk about his abilities. First we have All Out Push. Obi-Wan will unleash a powerful force blast in an area directly in front of him damaging and sending his opponent stumbling backwards. This ability can be adapted based on the situation you find yourself in. Hold down the button to increase both the range and width of this ability. I hope this ability can one shot all infantry but the heavies, but we will have to wait and see. Secondly, we have Defensive Rush. Obi-Wan will rush forward swinging his lightsaber deflecting any attacks and damaging enemies in front of him. Last, but not least, we have Restrictive Mind Trick. When used, all opponent abilities in front of Obi-Wan will be disrupted. During this time, no abilities will be available, this also includes dodges. With this, you will be able to easily kill the most powerful dark side users. It is a fine addition on the light side which is in my opinion a little weaker than the dark side, at least until now. Now, let's jump onto Obi-Wan's star cards. First, we have Jedi Resilience. Obi-Wan Kenobi has increased maximum health regeneration. Secondly, we have Jedi General. Whenever Obi-Wan Kenobi defeats an enemy trooper, he regains 20 health. Whenever he defeats an enemy hero, he regains even more. Then, we have Perfect Defense. Blocking lightsaber and blaster attacks drain less stamina. Then, we have Give It All. All Out Push has a longer range, but its damage is reduced. Then we have Quickened Focus. The charge up time of All Out Push is slightly shorter. After this we have Think It Over. Enemies are affected by Restrictive Mind Trick for a longer time. Now we have more doubts. Restrictive Mind Trick has a longer range. Then we have Forward. Defensive Rush lightsaber hits deal more damage. Last but not least, we have Critical Deflection. Blaster shots deflected by Defensive Rush do more damage. From what I can picture with these descriptions, the star cards you should probably use will be Jedi Resilience, Jedi General and Forward, at least for Galactic Assault. Now let's jump into the voice lines. I will start quoting them one by one. Let the negotiations begin. You want to go home and rethink your life. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. You haven't exactly impressed me today. Oh my. And here I thought Master Yoda was sending me somewhere relaxing. I understand you've had some troubles recently. Hello there. So uncivilized. Why do I get the feeling you're going to be the death of me? When I catch you in half, I should have aimed for your neck instead. The strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. Ugh, like bathing in a lake of venom mites. Your perversion of the force ends here. I'm glad to see you're enjoying yourselves. Let's avoid any of General Skywalker's techniques, shall we? Evil will always find a master, won't it? Trend Oceans, always so touchy. I will do what needs to be done. There is no death, 
there is the force. When it comes to victory poses we have 4 names but no pictures. The names are Shall We Duo, Fighting Stance, Soldiers With Me and Contemplating. When it comes to emotes we have 4 of them and I will code them one by one. Hello there! Only a Sith deals in absolutes. The strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. Your move. When it comes to milestones, we have three. The first one is called Forward. Hit 30 enemies with a defensive rush ability. The second one is called A Little Further. Defeat 30 enemies with the All Out Push ability. The last one is called Change Your Mind. Hit 30 enemies with the Restrictive Mind Trick ability. Now, let's talk about Obi-Wan's credits cost. Obi-Wan will cost 35,000 credits and his second appearance with his iconic Jedi robes will cost 40,000 credits. Joining up with Geonosis, the new vehicles, Obi-Wan Kenobi and some bug fixes on the 28th of November patch the 212th Battalion skin will join us as well. The 212th Battalion is the battalion often we assigned to be led by General Kenobi during the Clone Wars. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are as hyped as I am. I can't wait for the 28th of this month. Let me know in the comment section down below which star cards you think you will be using for General Kenobi. Follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Join me on Facebook and on Discord. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Tuga signing out and may the moustache be with you. Mustache. 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 Mustache.